Metro officers working with Asian American business owners to break down barriers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Ty Quinones. And I'm Dana Roselli in for Trisha Keen. 13 Action News anchor Nina Porchincola shows you how this partnership is making a difference and seeing results. Metro officers oh, nice. doing, are building stronger relationships in Chinatown with people like Colin Fukunaga. He owns Fuku Burger. I feel it's more a less of a business relationship and more of like a friendship. We first met Colin last year following a string of break-ins in Chinatown. Many went unreported. We need crime statistics for uh, the police to be aware. It just goes back. Lieutenant Bitsko, the very next day after the, uh, the uh, bit aired, he called me up and he says, hey, I'd love to have a coffee with you and discuss what's going on in, in Chinatown. Since then, they've met numerous times over coffee, lunch, even off duty. Metro recruiter David DeLeon says historically, the Asian community has been hesitant to call police. He explains why. There is distrust, like in different uh, countries. Um, Police are sometimes looked as corrupt. So to build trust with the community, Spring Valley officers go out to meet and greet the business owners, customers, and visitors of Chinatown. The police department doesn't just show up when there's problems. You know, we're here, it's a partnership, day in and day out. It also shows that we're being proactive and we need to get over that old school mentality. Officers constantly patrol the area. It'll make things easier for you. And check in with businesses. It's funny, they'll drive by here and people will see it and we're like waving at them and they'll be like, what's that? No, they're just making sure and then it's more assurance, I think. Metro officers also show up to events and meet up with Asian American leaders to talk about any issues and how to address them. Their efforts to connect with the community paid off earlier this year when Metro arrested six suspects connected to thefts in the area. By the end of March, Metro saw a 56% drop in car break-ins. I was pleased to see that number, but that, that doesn't mean we're, we're done. Billion says the cultural and language barriers will always be a work in progress. He says one way to overcome these barriers is by pushing to get more minorities to join the force and mirror the community they serve. When they see somebody that looks like them, they feel more comfortable telling them or reporting the crimes that are happening. Right now, almost 40% of Metro's police department are minorities, with Asian Americans making up more than 5% of that. As Metro works to increase these numbers, business owners are keeping an eye out for each other. We're basically the neighborhood watch on the, the commercial aspect. And for the thousands of locals and visitors who come to Chinatown every day. If we want them to come back into Chinatown, we've got to make sure that they understand that we're on top of this, that we're, we're, sa we're safe and we're, uh, we have their best interest there. Nina Porchunkula, 13 Action News.